So I'm not gonna even lie, I totally forgot to film an intro for today's video. So this is kinda like, I just finished the outro to this, but you guys are gonna love today's video. I'm going thrifting, and there's a little bit of surprise that you probably saw from the thumbnail and title. Without further ado, enjoy today's video. Smash the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Let's get it, guys. Look at these Nikes, they're like women's, but it has like holes in them. Kind of strange. They have the Rost sticker on them, so that's seven and a half. And then some New Balance 498s, some other New Balances. Wish they were 998s, those would be fire. No new rolling racks, so let's go to the old racks, see if we can find anything good. So the other day you guys saw me find a Florida Marlins Ramirez jersey. Well, look to match. We have the Ramirez number two t-shirt jersey. Awesome fun. Got this little Fila jersey, little Fila hit in 3M with the white and uh, royal blue. Nothing too special though. Let's see if we can find anything else good. A Signal Sports. Flip. This is a newer shirt, but to be honest, I love the big like logo. It's a huge, big uh, Miami Heat logo. And the color blocking on the sleeves too is pretty nice. Little fun fact, uh, my favorite beer to drink is Blue Moon. Just a little fun fact. Got this New Age Liquid Blue. I'm not sure what this is. It's super thin though, like paper thin. Damn, I thought this was zigzag papers at first. Zigzag Oregon. <laughs> That's funny. Got the UPS Racing 44 Chase, little polo, nothing else, oh it says a UFC shirt, nothing good though. Got the Vintage USA Olympics little fleece uh, vest, I'm like the olive green. Love the colors of these flannels, got like a red head, this red head, this almost looks almost similar to Burberry, if it didn't have like that black, blue one. This is a pretty sick hoodie. We have the Planet Hollywood, Planet Hollywood Orlando embroidered in like this, I don't even know what kind of material this would be. Or is it, it is made in USA, so it's probably vintage. Eh, I might get this just because the material is so sick. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's like a towel on this. Then with the matching vest, we do have the Team USA Olympic uh, little zip up. We do have a matching one in the navy colorway as well. And then I looked over here, we have some Lacoste shoes. Like mid tops. Oh, they're ripped on the inside though. New rolling rack, we have like this fluorescent bright pink Ralph Lauren button up. A few jerseys like Brazil, but I don't think they're authentic or anything. Like this one just seems crazy. What are these Adidas tumblers? Yeah. Or tubulars, 15 bucks. Tumblers. <laughs> I've never heard of this brand before, Mondo, but this long sleeve is honestly super soft and just crazy design. It is $5, but like I said, it's kind of expensive, brand new. I think they're like 100 plus, so I might pick this up. Got two vintage champion, just with a plain C though. Pretty faded too. Well, that Goodwill wasn't too good. I only ended up getting the two t-shirts and the long sleeve. I ended up leaving the Planet Hollywood hoodie just because it was $10 and I don't know, usually I would want to charge like 20 plus shipping, so I feel like it just wasn't worth it for such a plain hoodie. And on the front it did have a little stain, so I figured, you know what, let's just keep it as is. But today is gonna be a thrifting video, so let's just hit up another thrift store. Well, walking up to the second Goodwill today, hopefully we have better luck at this one. There is a Think Thrift, and it's a little bit more expensive. We'll hit that right after this Goodwill. So as soon as I got into this Goodwill, there was about three other people like digging, so I kind of just put everything in my cart that I saw that would be kind of sick. So we have this denim button down with like all embroidered Disney characters. It is the Disney store. Nothing on the front, just plain. This I picked up because at first I thought this was a palace logo. Like that's exactly like a palace logo, is it not? And then these I'm not gonna grab, I just figured I would show you guys though a bunch of old school Nike. I guess old I guess kinda old school. I was like I thought it was more of the gray tag. I just saw the gray at first. But it's like a Nike little jerseys. And like the pinstriping. And then this one, someone just dropped them all off. Also we do have a Nautica sailing, little long sleeve. I'm gonna leave this also. They want five bucks for it, I think. And what is this? Oh, a Nike uh, hoodie. This isn't old though. It's a uh, newer age, but even so, oh, it's $10, damn it. Cause I wanted to get that little embroidered hoodie, but yeah, we'll leave that behind too. Cause that I'd probably want to charge like 10 bucks or so. So we might only just get this Disney thing. 
Unfortunately, we didn't find much. There was other people digging, so they probably got some stuff. As far as shoes go, it doesn't seem like we have anything good. Air Max is total beat though, eight bucks. What are these? Basketball shoes. Nothing good. As I was leaving, I didn't even see these. You have the vintage Tommy Hill figure. Like huge, like Doc Martens basically. Little embroidered. Damn. These are kind of beat, like the inside's pretty nasty, but maybe you can clean these up. They're 15 bucks. Let me see how much they go for real quick. I ended up leaving those Tommy Hill figures. There's one on eBay for $30, free shipping. So I figured those shoes will probably cost about 10 to $12 to ship anyways because they're very heavy and pretty big. I think they were size 10 and a half. So I figured, you know what, let's just leave them behind. If somebody else wants to grab them, somebody else can grab them. We're going to hit up one more thrift store in this plaza. Then we're going to head over to another Goodwill and just kind of keep this day going. You know, we haven't been finding nothing crazy or nothing good, but we just got to keep the content rolling. This is a trip to the thrift, so let's get it. So I'm riding by the trash, about to go into the thrift store, and look what I find. Florida Gators Leatherman? Vintage and not only do I find that, but I also see this is what caught my eye. Look at this Steelers. Steelers. This is literally right outside a thrift store. They could have easily stole this starter Steelers. Now, granted, there's probably a flaw in it, but fuck it, guys. Look at that. Two big jackets for free. Let's see what else we can find in here. Anything else good? Maybe I should start doing dumpster diving. Literally go to thrift stores and just look in the back of the trash. What's the chances that I find a Tupac shirt down here? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to cut the camera. I'm going to kind of look. I'm going to stuff that in my backpack real quick just in case anyone comes. Wow, well, guys, so I just dug this literally at the bottom of the trash. Like, I swear this, I'm not making this up. I was driving by and I literally just found this. Found a Chicago Bulls. And then look at this HBO Sopranos little crew neck with the gun and like I said I already put these two in here I'm actually gonna see if, if I can get some kind of trash bag so I can put everything in kind of crazy though yo I'm telling you we just literally got a full entire bag and now we're walking into the thrift store that was the dumps that we got it from like easily I, I don't know I'm gonna check the flaws once I get home but it's kind of crazy that uh, this was just sitting in the trash but now let's actually go to the thrift store watch I bet we'll find better stuff that I got in the trash than I did actual inside the store but let's see shoes putting out I actually just found these vans I'm not sure if I'm gonna grab them or not $24 geez kind of expensive they have these a6 gel 8 fives not sure some other ones too oh what are these Adidas pro model like 3m all craziness colors Kind of sick. Got this pretty sick tracksuit, Columbia Speedo. All colored throughout bottoms and everything. Diamond Supply, 10 bucks though. It's a collab with MFG. Uh, I'm not sure what the MFG is, but I looked them up and they're not really worth too much. I'm still like in shock that we just found all that at the trash outside of this thrift store. Like if this would, if I would've found any of those jackets inside here, I would've instantly bought them, but. I guess they were too flawed out. Watch like we get home and they're like horrible, like doesn't zip up or something. But even so, we got it for free. I really can't complain. I was gonna head up to one more Goodwill, but now since I have that huge bag, it's gonna be a little bit difficult. So I'll probably just take the bus back home and hit up the thrift store right by my house, just so that way it's a lot easier and I don't have to uh, keep, you know, the big bag. Well, look at this. Like Chanel or like a uh, Hermes style brand. I don't even know. Before we found the Chanel. Got the Daytona NASCAR. Double sided. 2002 though. Yeah, might leave it. Nothing special. Pretty sick vintage Florida shirt. We have the color blocking all throughout, with like the double collared, the sleeves. I think I'll probably grab this. Here we go, a little bit better. We have the NASCAR logo, but like on the faded black. No double sided, but still so much nicer. Somebody told me about this last time. I guess it's like a play. It's on like a faded black shirt. Defy gravity. I guess I'll grab this. Got the vintage Hard Rock Las Vegas. I think I've had this shirt. I don't know if it's sold already though or not. So I'm probably gonna leave that. Let's see. Bike Week, Daytona Beach. 
Bike Week 60th anniversary 2001. Eh, might leave this too. What's this? Texas. Pretty cool. We got a vintage New York Yankees little jersey pullover. No tags though, and made in Pakistan. I can't see the brand on it. The other day I was here and I forgot my wallet so I actually hid this USA spell out. This Las Vegas, all embroidered. And then this one also, Bourbon Street, just because of craziness. Got the old school Nautica crew neck. No logos or anything, just stripes. Well, leaving this store with a nice size bag. Now let's head home, see how the pups are doing. So I just made it back home and I actually just filmed showing like everything that I got today and literally it was like 10 minutes long. So I don't really want to make this a 20 minute vlog. So I'm just going to include that in tomorrow's video. Tomorrow is supposed to be raining all day. So I figured that'd be kind of the perfect thing. You know, we can maybe hit a thrift in the morning or go to the post office in the morning and then I'll tie in the stuff that I found today. Or you guys can just check the link down below emcvlogs.com because I did post everything that I found for sale today on my website link down below. And the other day, I think it was maybe three days ago, maybe four, no, I guess about three days ago, but to you guys, it might have been two episodes ago. I went and got sushi and I tried that new rainbow roll. Guys, I'm not even lying. I've been thinking about that rainbow roll like the whole entire time. Yesterday was Sunday, so it was closed. So today I'm gonna go get that for lunch. I know it's like, yo, Amelia, you just had sushi. But like I said, I can eat sushi every single day. And actually, when I was in high school, I used to go to that spot almost every single day our routine would be like go to school then we would go to the gym and then after the gym we would go there to get some sushi i would usually just get the tempura but now i'm kind of like trying new things like with the rainbow and just different stuff so i don't know I i'm enjoying it and i'm probably going to continue eating more sushi on these videos so let's quickly head to the sushi spot and get some lunch Can I do uh, shrimp tempura? And then the rainbow roll, is there any way I could substitute tilapia for something else? Or is there something? Yeah. Just, yeah, either or. I just, I don't care for the tilapia, if you don't mind. Are we under surveillance? And then, uh, no, I'm a, I vlog. I'm a YouTuber. This is the best way. Oh yeah, I tell them that all the time. I tell them that all the time. <laughs> Uh, not yet. We're here to go here. Uh, for here. So I ended up grabbing the same thing as last time, the shrimp tempura. And then this is the rainbow roll. Now usually it comes with tilapia, which is the white fish. It'll go from like tuna to salmon to tilapia. But I told them I don't want tilapia, so they just gave me uh, extra. So this is the salmon, this is tuna, and this is, or sorry, this is tuna, this is salmon, tuna, salmon. And then we have spicy mayonnaise. Guys, let's go outside before it starts raining. Well, guys, I think I am gonna, whoa, way overexposed. I think I'm gonna quickly end this video, edit it, throw it up. It is, oh, it's five o'clock. Oh. It is Monday. Obviously, I upload these videos every single day that you guys watch it, so just keep that in mind. Make sure you guys do come back tomorrow for 8 p.m. for another video so you guys can see the finds of today. If not, just check the link down below, emcvlogs.com. I appreciate every single one of you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow, and don't forget, guys, let's get.